for the 49th problem on this first ACT practice test, the shaded region in the graph below represents the solution set to which of the following systems of inequalities. So we're essentially given these two equations and their graphs, and what we have is this shaded region here that we essentially have to analyze. So let's first look at the basic properties of each of these equations individually. So starting with inequalities involving lines, let's redraw some coordinate axes and we're dealing with a line y is equal to minus x plus 2. So we can use our format of y is equal to mx plus b to quickly graph this. And we know that the first point we can plot is our b value, which is our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is at positive 2. And then our slope, our m, is negative 1. So we can go down 1 and then over 1 for our second point. And then we just have to connect these with a line. And from here, going back to our original graph, what we can see is that the region that's shaded is below this line. So if you were to graph y is less than minus x plus 2, we would essentially be shading all of the region underneath the graph. If this sign was reversed and y was greater than minus x plus 2, then you would be shading everything above the graph. And one other important point to make is that when you have less than or greater than and you don't have an equal sign with it, this line would actually be dashed. And now let's take a closer look at the graph of a circle and the inequality related to it. So let me again redraw some coordinate axes. Now the general equation for a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared and this is all equal to the radius of the circle squared. And within this equation, this hk is the center of the circle. So hk is our center. So for our particular problem here, we have x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared. And this is equal to 9, but 9 is just 3 squared. So what we can tell from this equation is the center and the radius. So our center, it's always going to be the opposite of whatever these numbers are. So if this is negative 1, the x value would be positive 1. And since this is minus 2, we know the y value would be positive 2. So the center of this is at 1, 2, or somewhere around here essentially. And we also know its radius since the equation is equal to 9 and whatever constant that it's equal to is just the radius squared. So our radius is just the square root of that which is 3. And when dealing with inequalities involving circles, essentially if we were going to write that this was less than 9 then we're dealing with all of the area inside the circle. And you can check that by just plugging in the center of the circle, since that would be at the coordinates 1, 2, and plugging in for x, 1, and for y, 2, you would end up with 0 on the left-hand side, which is definitely less than 9. And if we're talking about greater than whatever the radius squared is, or if this was a greater than sign here, then we're talking about all the area outside of the circle. And again, notice that the circle is dashed, and the reason for that is because we're dealing with less than or greater than, rather than less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. So now going back up to our problem here, we can see that this region, it's underneath the line. So we already know that 
part of our solution would be y is less than minus x plus 2. And we can also see that our, our region here is within the circle. So it would also have to be less than 9 here. So for both of our equations, we are dealing with the less than versions of it. So going through our possible choices here, you can see that choice letter A is the correct option.